Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design and assemble a feed check valve. This is actually a part of boiler which controls the flow of water from feed pump to boiler and further prevent the backflow of water from boiler to pump when the boiler pressure is more than the pump pressure or when feed pump stop working. So here we will make all the parts and assemble at the end. So let's make this pump. Uh, wall in SOLIDWORKS. Now here the first part is body. Now this is the assembly of feed check wall, check wall C. There are all the part listed in this table. Now first part we are going to start body. Okay, so uh, let's check this section view. We are going to start with this section view. See there is a center line. This hollow part is going to be hollow and this this shaded parts, it's a solid part. So you will see the first diameter 108, this last diameter 206, then this wall thickness 12, inside diameter 120, just note down this all dimension, then come down 108, and this is 80, uh, sorry, this is 88, 80, and this thickness 12, here also shows thickness 12 and uh, okay 16 this thickness here this thickness you will see 20 if you uh, okay this 10.5 uh, this side uh, no we are not going to make this one 12 this already shows 12 this also so first we have to choose a plane even though you can change unit directly from here background you can change from here so i'll keep plane white front plane is sketch now I'll activate center line. First, I am going to create a center line. Right click exit. Now start line. Now let's say I'm going to start from here. Okay. Now let's go and don't try to create any relation otherwise it creates difficult exit. Now this is close. Now activate smart dimension. Now first let's define the vertical length. And that is according to drawing 16 plus 35 plus 40 plus 140 plus 20. Enter. This is 251. Now select this one, hold, uh, click this line, construction line. If you move out and you will see the diameter. If we keep inside, you will see only radius. So I will move outside 180. Not 180, actually it is 108. Now if you choose out this line, outer diameter 206. This one 80. 88. And this center one 128, say yes. Look. Now let's define this shift key and only define this. Ten, twenty. Now this gap, it's twelve. Look, it's going to define. This is 16, the last one, 
and uh, distance from here to here this one 16 plus 35 okay now this from here this is 16 plus 35 plus 40 enter that's it now just drop down this now activate the smart dimension now these gaps also 12 12 we forget to add some more here delete delete this line now connect now let's make vertical delete okay A smart dimension now this is going to be 12 and this is going to be 16 okay it's already defined now this distance from center line diameter 206 escape 12 similarly the distance between these 12. Now look, the drawing is fully defined. Activate revolve boss base. Now here axis of revolution, I am going to choose this center line. End condition keep blind and angle 360 degrees so that we will get a solid, full complete solid body. Rest keep as it is, say yes. deactivate real graphics view so that you will get a perfect view now let's make this solid part 96 diameter now from this end to center uh, distance from uh, bottom 140 from here to the center and uh, if you see here 130 plus 16 plus 16 then there is a hole 75 this is throughout hole then there is one flange also 206 this flange thick thickness 16 but 15 millimeter away from here so let's try so let me choose here front plane plane now front plane and distance here 130 plus 16 plus 15 okay but this is moving wrong direction so flip okay axis now I'll draw a circle activate circle and these diameter it's 96 millimeter ninety six and the center distance from distance from bottom edge one forty is still not defined. So hold shift key select this center point and center of the circle vertical relation. Just rotate and you will see. Now here choose extruded boss base. Now start condition is plain. End condition I am going to choose up to next. 
up to next means it's going to focus on this body merge result say yes let me hide click and hide the plane a sketch now again let me draw one radius is 206 okay now let's extrude but here little twist end condition depth is how much 16 mm reverse direction but this is 15 mm away from the plane so i am going to change start condition offset 15 mm away still this is moving downward reverse direction now look it is move 15 mm away from this plane and 16 mm is thickness say yes look hole wizard click here hole metric just drill and the section custom section and 75 mm is the depth don't choose through all choose here up to next even though you can choose it from here also but let her, let's say 75 we already choose customize our hole position select this face and move cursor and you will find center point even move cursor near edge you will see a center point click escape key to out look now let's look close view say okay look this is hole is created section view front okay look now here we have to change one thing this is 12 mm and uh, these corners also shown here 12 mm this width this width also shown 12 mm i just changed the drawing now there is a corner radius see this 10 mm this inside uh, this is 12 mm this is inside 10 mm okay now inside here also 10 mm outside 10 mm 5 mm this is 5 mm here 3 mm this is 10 mm and this side shows here 12 mm then we will make this rib r30 i'll show you how fillet now 10 mm it's before going to check fillet just open and check this sketch now here double click 12 enter this is little change say okay fillet keep constant size fillet symmetric radius here 10 mm and we are going to choose inside full preview choose here now select this also 10 mm now inside this also going to be 10 mm this one we will make later 10 mm say okay now there is no radius inside so just simply fill it 5 mm constant size and this inside radius 5 mm only edit feature now parallelly choose the outside edge 
this is also 5 millimeter. Now uncheck section view, pellet 10 millimeter choose this outside edge, say ok, pellet 3 millimeter this corner ok again activate fillet and this time the biggest radius 12 millimeter this side 12 millimeter and this edge also 12 millimeter say yes So, we applied fillets in all body. Now, there is a one thread, see pitch 152, this is the position, 6 number of threaded hole, 15 diameter, 17 depth, this is the our threaded th hole M16 into 1.5 and here this is the standard of thread, depth 15 is the thread depth. So, let us see how we will do this and then there are six number of things similarly at bottom there is a hole also see 152 these are the hole six holes diameter six pcd 152 pcd means the center distance okay six diameters but in this condition like this and in bottom face it is like this means this position is similar to this one hole wizard. Now, here you have option straight tap, keep customized value, metric, tap the bottoming hole because we are going to make a tapped hole, uncheck this one. Now, that is M16 into 1.5. So, here you will see M16 into 1.5. Now, depth blind now choose this one, now depth is 17, hole depth 17, see, shoulder, now thread, thread length 15, now here with thread call out, we want this cosmetic thread here to show, position, select this face, now we have to make a parallel like this. So, press escape key, activate circle tool, draw a circle, click for construction, activate the smart dimension, 152, enter, say yes, escape key to out. Now, click this point and you will activate tool. Now, place here, escape key to out. say ok. Now, if you cannot see cosmetic thread, just go to option, documents, property, detailing and here you will find shaded cosmetic thread, just check the box, say ok. Now, look, circular pattern. Now, you have to choose axis or any circular edge, so I am going to choose this one. Number of things, here choose equal spacing, 360 degree and number of holes 6. Look, feature already selected here this hole, that is it, no need any other direction, say yes. Look, now let us check hole, now this time I am going to choose hole, drill size, hole let us say. ISO the whole size is 16 ok choose next position select this face now here activate this view so that we will get the idea 
और स्केप की टू आउट अगेन हियर एक्टिवेट सर्कल टूल ड्रॉ ए सर्कल क्लिक हियर फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन इस स्मार्ट डायमेंशन द पिच 152 एक्टिवेट सेलेक्ट दिस पॉइंट एंड प्लेस दिस पॉइंट एट सर्कल स्केप की टू आउट ऑफ दिस सर्कल नाउ यू विल सी द प्रीव्यू लेट्स चेंज दिस वन now see the hole is created circular pattern now for let's direction let's choose this one six number of pattern six 360 the whole here feature already selected say okay look now similarly going to apply for this now everything keeps same whole iso drill side 16 up to next go to position select this face escape and choose circle if you uncheck this shaded cosmetic let i'll show you uncheck so you will simply did not see any shaded portion here for construction activate smart dimension 152 now click point and you will activate the tool now place at this no according to drawing it is like this escape key to out say yes circular pattern now so let's choose one circular edge equal spaces 360 degree six number of holes we need and here the feature is what this hole so we selected here rest as it is say okay that's it now let's add front plane no right plane sketch line go back to the point and connect up to this point and little extend why extend because this is circular edge it's difficult to create a rib on circular edge so always try to uh, little now i am going to little downside because we want to cover this whole area in this face so let's say this one 30 now if you want to define some dimension to this then better so that your geometry will be fully defined that's the advantage now see this is fully defined go to rib thickness of rib 6 mm center one now look aero direction it's going downward say yes look according to drawing this is 12 mm click and double click and here directly choose 12 see it is change again right plane sketch line come from here to this point go back to the point and it is converted into arc this point and uh, let's say like this let's define this point okay these points are defined co coincident with this so delete this relation now activate the smart dimension tool 
and define this 25. And for a define this upper pose even though no need but just to define our geometry fully defined sketch and you must keep inside because these are the circular edges so difficult to create if you will not do this uh, it's difficult to create even you will see some error rib arrow goes downward here choose 12 flip material side say ok look now there is a little change this hole is lies with this so we will change the second hole edit position now this one we will move escape key activate point and move here say yes see this is change the position now edit appearance this is going to be our section view right side say ok now look now there is a last rib now this one hundred radius thickness 12 millimeter this is the last rib Now let's go to right plane, sketch, activate line tool and I am going to start from this line because up to this point and convert it into arc. If you can't just simply go to activate three point arc, connect from here to this point. Now again choose line and move little inside because this is curved surface. It's difficult to create 100 millimeter say yes. For drawing definition just define something to this edges so that our drawing will be fully defined. See rib arrow moving outside flip keep both side 12 millimeter is the thickness just move ok look so this is your first part save it just go to desktop and uh, feed check wall this is part 1 body Safe. Let's do the next part. Now here the next part is cover and uh, the main diameter of this cover is 206 outer diameter. See here and if you see section view there is a one depth 5 millimeter and the diameter of this depth 102 millimeter. Similarly this flange depth 16 and overall length 120 from below the depth. Then there is one more depth 10 millimeter diameter 108. Then one more depth here uh, this corner diameter 88 fillet R5. Then comes down here 44 millimeter. Front plane. Now let me activate. Okay, directly we can go with. Uh, Now just come down little. Okay. 
connect with this escape key to out now make this center line construction so that we will get drawing easily now this one click center line move cursor out and you will see diameter 206 similarly this point 44 now this point 108 this is important now the next inside one 102 say here yes the last one 88 okay now let's define the depth 5 millimeter select this depth 16 millimeter say yes now this depth 10 millimeter say yes now the overall depth from this corner to here it's 120 look our drawing is fully defined so go to feature and activate extruded boss base now this is due to this construction line it is not closed geometry it is open so it is uh, system ask you would you like to close say yes now see axis of revolution it already detected this construction line here end condition blind 360 degree say yes now let's make inside a hollow part 44 this uh, diameter also 44 33 width this width 22 then if you comes here you will see 33 33 is the angle for this and center distance 32 now here 25 into 1.5 is the pitch 25 major diameter because this is inside so minor diameter will be 23.5 if you are going to calculate 20 and 30 is the depth so okay let's say front plane is sketch now let's activate center line let's say like this don't create any relation connect now here choose this all lines and come down here uncheck this construction so that it's become solid if we choose 44 44 32 22 and this is going to be 25 minus 1.5 it's 23.5 okay and uh, distance this length 38 okay now let's make this perfect hold shift key angle select this line and choose this point and you will see trades i'll choose this one and this is going to be 33 degree Similarly, I'll choose this and I'll choose this point and select this trade 33. Let's select this 33. See, this is seems fully defined this sketch. Okay, now the distance between these two points 20 okay now our drawing is fully defined simply go to feature here choose revolve cut would you like to close because this is construction line say yes 
Now this is detected by system and it took line of axis this construction line 360 degree blind and condition. Say yes, if I am going to choose section view, front view, section, okay. Now look, the hole is created. Now let's make here cosmetic thread because this is threaded part. So you can choose here view, insert annotation cosmetic thread now here i'll choose this age A standard let's say metric machine thread we want to make and this is going to be <coughs> din standard actually 25 into 1.5 up to next that's it say ok edit go to option documents property detailing check the box shaded cosmetic thread section view look If we go to evaluate major and if it's check this diameter this is 23 but the major diameter is here okay let's do our next thing fillet constant size fillet and the radius it's 5 millimeter and I'm going to choose this inside okay now 76 is the pitch for this if you comes here there is a threaded hole 8.5 this is m10 into 1.5 thread depth 15 and the hole depth 18 see here thread and hole depth both shown then there is a hole 6 diameter throughout 6 holes see the position 152 is the pitch for this. No need to sketch actually exit and simply go to hole, click here hole, metric, drill size, show custom and here directly put your hole, even you don't need to search the what diameter you want to choose from here, simply put here. End condition next, how, uh, how long we need to expand or make the hole. So keep end position, select this face. Before going to place, just simply escape, activate circle tool, click something like here or somewhere like for construction, activate the smart dimension 152. Now again activate point, now place here something, okay, now skip key to out, yes, circular pattern activate circle, now here you need to make direction, so either you can choose axis or any circular edge or face, so I am going to choose this face, equal spacing 360 degree six number of holes we will want what is the feature this hole so it's already selected say yes now again let's go to hole wizard now choose this one straight tap keep customize metric tap the bottoming hole now here you have to define the thing m10 into 1.5 this is m10 into 1.5 uncheck this customization now here keep blind now depth of the hole is 18 we already almost keep shoulder depth up to shoulder not thread 
thread depth you have to define 15 that is okay we want with cosmetic thread so check this box position select this face activate first circle for construction activate the smart dimension and uh, this depth 76 okay now activate this point and activate the tool and place something like here and one point here escape key to out say okay let's check front plane section view okay look the whole see this is 18 depth but thread only 15 Now let's save this part. Part 2 is cover. Let's check the next part. Third part is hand wheel. So see this section view. This circular diameter 24. Then the height of this 26. Depth of uh, width this diameter of this 26 and there is a hole 12 diameter okay then there is one circular edge if you see here this circular radius r4 once you create this then we will create this fins this is elliptical type 12 by 8 and there is a corner radius r1.5 so let's see front plane sketch now I am going to draw one construction line, escape key to out, activate circle tool, smart dimension. Now these diameters are 24, click this, now diameter 140, line. Now here go back to the point and see it is automatically converted into arc. Draw a half circle. Now select shift this point and this line merge. Okay. 26. 12 the diameter for this. And this diameter 26, radius 4, say yes. Now what else balance? Okay. Hold shift key, select both the lines and center one and leave. And you will see this option pop up, symmetric. This is fully defined this sketch. Revolve boss base. Now here you have to choose axis of revolution. So I am going to choose this one. Now look. Blind condition 360 degree. Look. Now. Right plane. Sketch. Ellipse. A smart dimension. Now this width 8 and the, the length 12. It is still not defined. So make one relation. Hold shift key, center point and these two points. Now this is fully defined this sketch. Now this is little tricky. I will show you how. Extrude.
now first start condition so i'll choose surface let's say this surface now you will see there is a emboss mark now this is going to start from this plane not from here even though we can choose but let's uh, do something different we will start from here up to surface which surface i'll choose this surface look i am going to start from here and up to this surface this is the beauty of the solid works say yes look circular pattern circular edge let's say this inside edge 360 degree equal spacing six number of this solid part we need to make and what what feature so we already selected here by default say okay fill it 1.5 now let me choose this all edges now select all this corner edges radius 1.5 symmetric constant size say yes edit appearance say okay now let's save this one the third part hand wheel now here is the fourth part valve seat now this depth 6 height 40 now this the outer diameter 102 45 degree tapered 3 mm of this tapered 75 and 88 now click front plane sketch now let's activate line tool and uh, let's directly okay now make one relation horizontal now let's define even we need center line so now the outer edge outer diameter 102 now this diameter 88 75 okay now let's adjust this now these click this point this straight 45 degree 3 6 okay let's make this height 40 now this is seems fully defined go to feature and choose revolve boss base now axis of revolution already detected by system full round body we want to make blind condition 360 degree edit appearance okay let's save this part number 4 valve seat here the part number 5 is valve see this is a kind of valve first we will make upper circular faces 32 88 then there is a chamfer 3 into 45 degree this depth 6 then there is a chamfer 3 into 45 degree then there is a four lobes see in uh, hidden line 43 from here to here 6 mm is the depth 74 is overall length and this 45 degree seems 4 mm so let's make this front plane sketch activate line tool and uh, i am going to start from here little taper 
exit make sure construction line so that it's easy for us to do dimensioning 32 similarly check outer one 83 okay now 6 mm now select this one and select this end point and 45 degree so i'll choose this one 45 degree and 3 num height 3 mm smart dimension let's define this 3 mm now see the drawing is fully defined activate revolve boss base feature would you like to close say yes because of this construction line it is automatically detected by system 360 degree okay again let's front plane sketch now activate start from mid and connect something here and connect smart dimension now distance shows from here to here it's 43 say yes and uh, see if you put this solid line you will not get the diameter so you have to put radius so 74 by 2 it's 32 okay these diameter 45 corner radius and 4 mm is the width now here i am going to choose extruded boss base now keep end condition blank, mid plane depth thickness 6 mm just check see it is moving in both side equally 3 mm one side 3 mm other side say yes circular pattern now here choose directions so i'll choose this circular edge now here i am going to choose four number of instances 360 degree feature already selected say yes look part number 5 valve part number 6 is gland see the top face 25 r13 there is a two hole at 75 mm this hole diameter 10 and the depth of this flange 13 then there is a vertical cylindrical 44 diameter 44 length 30 then there is inside hole 22 and 33 degree so we are going to start with top plane a sketch activate construction line or center line exit now activate line tool now connect activate line and connect this line to this line now make sure this is tangent to this activate smart dimension now this is radius 13 means diameter should be 26 this radius shows 25 50 now the center distance 76 so select this point and this 76 look mirror entity now let me choose this one this one mirror about even here choose 
this line also make sure you selected here copy mirror entity and i am going to choose these two lines mirror about this line trim entity power trim just trim this lines still the drawing is fully defined extrude now this is going to be 13 mm let's make downward cancel normal view activate sketch now let's add two circles 10 Hold Shift key, select both the circle and make relation equal. Activate the Smart Dimension, Diameter 10. Now activate Extrude 13 mm downward direction. Say yes. Look. Select back space, sketch. Activate circle and diameter 44 and extrude and this depth 44 millimeter end condition towards downward blind. Now let's activate front plane sketch. Let me choose line construction line. We want to cut a hole. How? Now select this line, select this point. Now <coughs> select this one. 30 degree. Now outer diameter is 22. And this is going to connect with this point. Hold shift key select these two end point coincide. So our drawing is fully defined. Activate revolve cut. Say yes because this is open geometry because of this construction line. But by default it is selected axis of revolution and condition blind 360 degree. Front section view ok look ok now let's save this this is the part number 6 gland Now here the part number 7 is spindle. Now here we have thread in two portion M25, M10. So this is a kind of uh, bolt. So the diameter M25 it is the outer diameter. So it is major diameter. Depth is 1.5. So let's apply this. 10 millimeter is the head, 32 diameter. Then there is a inside 22 this one and this is also 22 3 millimeter. 178, 50. 24, 15, 14, 24 and this is 12. Now this one M10 into 0 0.05. Front plane is sketch. Activate line tool and start like this.
connect. Select this line construction so it makes easy for us. 14, 24. Ten, three, fifty. Okay, just expand this more. Now again activate dimension. Now this is going to be one seventy eight. Now select this one and select this. 32, 22, similarly for this 22, 25 comes here, 12 and for this 10. Now this is fully defined, go to revolve, activate revolve boss base, say yes to close the geometry line of revolution, axis of revolution selected by system, 360 degree blind condition. Look. Go to insert, annotations, cosmetic thread. Now choose first age. So I will choose this age. Now choose face. So I am going to choose this face, machine thread. M24 into 1.5. See, this is minor diameter going to be. And here, keep end condition up to next. Next means the end of this face. If you click show type, it will show you machine thread while you are going to make drawing. So, I am always trying to uncheck. Say OK. Option documents property detailing. Check the shaded cosmetic thread box. Say yes. Insert annotation cosmetic thread. Age I am going to choose this age. DIN machine thread M10 already defined. This is minor diameter up to next. Say OK. Let's define the yellow color. Part number 6. Actually, this is 7 in our system. So, a spindle. Now here the part number 8 is stirred M10 into 0.5, 76 length. There is a two type of thread, 32, 18 millimeter length, M10 into 0.5. Chamfer 0 0.5 into 59 degree, both sides. front plane, outer diameter 10, so activate circle, 10, extrude 76 millimeter long, keep end condition blind, chamfer, now chamfer is 0.5 now here degree 59 now select both the endpoints or both the faces or even though clear select the face okay insert cosmetic thread
let us hide this and we will apply first cosmetic thread then we will apply chamfer. DIN standard machine thread M10. M10 in 2.5 blind. Now the first one is 32 millimeter long. Say OK. Activate. Go to option documents property detailing shaded cosmetic thread. Say OK. Insert cosmetic cosmetic thread. Select this age. M10 in 2.5. Now blind condition 18. Start face also. Okay, let's check start face this one so that. If you check there are two cosmetic thread. Here also let me choose this is a start face. Okay. Now apply. See. Go to appearance. Metal. Let's say brushed, say part number 8 stirred and this is M10 0.5 mm. Say OK. Stirred M16 into 1.5, length 52 millimeter, thread depth 22 and 15 millimeter and there is no chamfer. Front plane is sketch activate circle, outer diameter M16, a 16 diameter. So, because this is bold, so always keep outer diameter as max. Fifty two, keep end condition blind fifty two in one direction. Say okay. Insert annotation cosmetic thread and choose this age face. See DIN is started machine thread M16 into 1.5 depth 22. The first one say OK. Option documents property detailing shaded cosmetic thread. Again activate insert annotation cosmetic thread. This age, this is the face M16 into 1.5 blind 15 millimeter. Refresh, edit, brush the steel, save. Now this is the part number 9, M16 into 1.5. Now we finished all the part, let us start assembly. Bolt uh, nuts we are going to take from system. Now here let us start the assembly of feed check wall, click, op select here assembly, say ok. Now by default this window pop up, now just go to your folder, feed check wall, you can change large icon, body open. Now see you can place anywhere, just drop down this I menu visibility, check here view origin unchecked and move your cursor near this and see it is going to fix. Click and leave. Unchecked. 
plain white. If you right click, this is asking you float means this body is fixed. Okay, this body is fixed with origin. So let's start with few more relations with this. Insert. Now here. Open part two. Seat, wall seat, okay. Just place here. First, let me fix with this mat. Select this hole and this co-centric relations. Say yes. Now, select this hole and this hole because co-centric relation say yes these holes should be parallel to this select this face and this face coincide relation say yes now let me move here now here right click customize tab even though the standard view isometric drag okay select isometric view that's it section view this is going to hide so okay now drag this select mat now select this outer face and this face co-centric relation say yes now this is going to sit to this wall select back surface and this surface coincident relation say yes okay now insert this one control key this one open uncheck section view rotate this one upside okay met i'll choose this face and this co-centric relation okay back face of spindle and top face of this co-centric now one more relation wall choose wall front plane come down spindle control key front plane of spindle click mat see a relation going to keep coincide now it is going to rotate with this i'll show you how select this one this one co-centric relation okay if you see section view okay now this is going to fix with this so let's uncheck now let me save rebuild and save feed check wall assembly assembly of feed check wall insert component gland open met i'll choose this hole and this spindle co-centric relation okay but it is moving like this so we want to fix select this and this hole it is move co-centric relation select this face and this face and here choose distance distance 39 so click somewhere outside okay cancel now this is fixed at the distance of 39 
so this distance we are going to maintain I will tell you why ok this is still moving handle open go inside select this one and this cocentric relation ok just move upside this face and this face coincide relation ok now this is fixed here now let's apply some more relation with this A spindle front ok uh, sorry hand wheel front A spindle control key front met see this is going to be parallel together and make coincident relation say yes ok now see if you are going to rotate both everything these three parts rotate together look just save insert now here let's click this stud ok let's uh, define the relation between height even though let me hide this also mat go to here mechanical and this is a kind of a screw choose here a screw select this one and this one now revolution per mm one revolution per mm this is going to be the reverse say ok see just drag this now valve seat show now make one relation important relation actually this is going to be sit here Cocentric, select th this edge and this one coincide. Okay, now evaluate major. Now select this face. No, not this face because select this face and this face. Now center distance 15 millimeter. So we have to apply a limit. Limit to this. Now here we already applied. Now this met. Suppress. Because we know the distance. Met. Advanced met. Select this one. Now let me choose one and this max 14.8 0 0.2 see there is a small gap we ok the gap let us say 0. We will not keep any gap.
say okay cancel now let's move this see it is not going to move beyond this even though no backside no upside see i move my mouse in both direction see how the wheels are rotating so basically if you rotate it's going to fix on the perfect position let's down okay show that's it save now this one let's keep okay save now let's activate mat standard mat just just select the inside face of this hole and this inside face is tapered see here and select this face look it is going to be coincide say okay now cancel hold control key and copy activate mat tool now similar we will apply for the this second hole select the bottom of this hole rotate say okay cancel now in drawing you will see there is a hexagon hexagon nut iso 304 m10c and similarly 304 m16 also there go to tool iso standard just go, double click nut hexagon nut and this is the bolt so how to fix this just drag this to this and move cursor near face m10 cosmetic say okay similarly select here face similarly move cursor here you will see the symbol center center if you move your up to center and face click escape key to out now here you have to create some relation mat this face and this face coincident relation this face and this face keep parallel okay now let me insert our last stud okay now let's rotate now here just go to evaluate measure now check the distance where is the distance center distance 48.5 clear 
go to mat select this first make cocentric relation okay select this face and this face 15 reverse no, not this reverse let's say minus 15 flip dimension okay now look that's perfect okay go to hexagon okay let's mirror this better option copy with mats or even though you can choose here circular pattern component this circular pattern let's say this equal distance 360 six numbers say okay look drag bolt m16 cosmetic thread okay Similarly, copy with mat component next this one this face see copy here say ok now select this face and this bottom face see both selected here say yes now co-centric first I will say this bolt then second face select this cover face and it's fixed yes bold face yes let's check the last one bold face yes cancel now here we fixed all the bolts and everything save it now here let's make exploded view click exploded view now first I am going to select the bolt and drag in upside done wheel drag done select these two bolts drag done these two bolts done done now let me select this all hexagon nut done now similarly select this stud also select done now let me choose this drag cover done body 
let's little down. Now this step undo. Delete body. Done. Select inside part, drag upside, done. Select inside of seat wall, It's done. Done. Right click, collapse. Right click, animate, explode. Look. Play. Now here we selected playback mode loop. If we choose vice versa, cancel, prolapse, save, right click, go to toolbar, motion study, simply animate wizard. Explode. Next. Gara second zero start time. Finish. Again click animate explode. Collapse. Next. Gara minute start time gara. Finish. Fifty. Calculate. That's it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.